Hi everyone, it's Sherry. How are you doing tonight? I want to welcome everyone to my channel and what I have for you tonight, let me bring it over so you can see some of the things I want to show you tonight and share with you. But uh, I have found a few cute books and I kind of, when I was in the, I think when it was, see, I'm trying to think where I got these at a thrift store. I think I got these all at the same thrift store. And uh, when I'm in the store, I kind of, you know, I don't sit there and look at the whole book. I kind of just, you know, see the book and then I, you know, it looks like something I would like. And it looks, I try to see if the cover is something I can use to make a journal out of. And I usually look at the copyright. I kind of just um, thumb through the pages like, let me find one with pages to make sure, you know, what it looks like a little bit inside. But I don't. You know sit there and go through every page I just kind of go like this and see if it looks like something I can use in my journals so um, that's what I do and then a lot of times I uh, when I get home I you know I want to look at them and I I don't always take time to do that so I thought maybe I'd start doing some just quick videos of maybe like flip throughs maybe not every page but maybe flip through so that you can see the books, uh, how I bring, you know, how they look when I bring them home. And then if you see me making a journal out of one, you can see the transformation from book to journal. But also, um, if you are looking at books, if you're a person that makes journals, or maybe you just collect books, and if I show you the book, then you can see maybe you're buying it online and you'd like to see the inside and maybe the online listing doesn't have, you know, the pages. So I thought, you know, that could help other people as far as, you know, you knowing what the inside of the book looks like for that reason also. So, you know, just a number of reasons. Plus, it's just fun <laughs> to see. I love seeing... Um, videos of books I don't know I just love old books so when I, whenever I see a video that has any old books or any books pretty much uh, in it at all I almost always watch it because that's I like to see those so any anyway, this is anyway this is one of the books I picked up uh, it looks pretty new it's a little golden book the color kittens it does it did come from Kmart it says 188 on, or 189 on the front here so Kmart is not around anymore here in North Carolina I think they closed them all in North Carolina and then uh, let me see if I can see the night 1994 it looks like the copyright is 1994 let me see 1990 uh, 95 95, I think, actually, the latest one down here in Roman, Roman numerals, 1995, it, it looks like. So, it's the color kittens, and so, it looks brand new. It must have never even been, I mean, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it was ever read or handled or anything. But that would be considered vintage, uh, according to Etsy. So, I'll just show you, this is the color kittens. I like, I like this cover, um, anything to do with kittens. I usually buy because they're always really cute little books usually especially the little golden books but uh, let me just show you the inside of this one really cute images and you know some of the books sometimes I might list in my Etsy shop just um, you know I mean I would like to make journals out of all of them but some of them I I, I like to buy because I don't want to leave them behind even though maybe it, it maybe it's a cool old book that uh, I don't want to leave behind but I don't necessarily want to make a journal out of it so that's uh, one reason I have got a few in my shop right now and if I run across more like that I will I will uh, put them in my shop okay this one is really cool I didn't I didn't really look at it hardly except it this is I'm taking off the dust cover because I like this this cover of this book that's what I saw I always look at the I always look behind the dust cover when I look at a book uh, in a shop so and decide whether I want it as to whether what whatever is under the book dust cover if there is a dust cover on it so this was the dust cover 
pretty beat up and old looking. But under this <laughs> was this beauty right here. And I love this cover. It's different. It's black. Good housekeeping cookbook. Here's, oh, the back is really cool. See, I didn't even see the back yet. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Let's see what's on here. A little chef, cherries, a chicken, fish, a sundae, uh, like a ice cream sundae or a parfait kind of I, sundae with a cherry on top, a cow, and a cheese board. So really cool. I, I love that. I didn't see that. I just saw the front and quick and, you know, usually on my lunch break, I go shop at the thrift stores and find the books. So um, that's why also I don't take a lot of time because I'm on my lunch break. I have to figure out if I'm going to buy a book. And then I have to get through the line at the register. And sometimes if there's a line, I've actually had to put things back and just go because I, you know, I need to get back from lunch and get back to work. So there's a pretty opening cover here. And I... Let me tell you the copyright real quick. So yeah, I thought I'd do some little short videos maybe of my, you know, thrifting treasures instead of like a long one of a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to try to make it short, but I, the, I, the reason for making it short also is because I want to, you know, maybe show you more detail instead of just, I got this book, I got that book, you know, type of thing. So this is uh, 19, the latest copyright is 19, it looks like 1957, six, sixth printing, January 1957. So a good old cookbook here. And let's look at the inside a little bit. So good housekeeping. There's some, I really like the cover on this one. This is what, that's what hooked me. There's a color picture here. But, uh, you know, these aren't, these are just mostly, uh, it looks like mostly black and white pages. They are a little browned. So they do have, they are showing their age a little, but really this is, looks like nobody ever used this. It doesn't have any kind of stains or, you know, rips or it doesn't look worn at all. But uh, I can use these pages uh, for so many things. And there's a lot in here, a lot of pages. I can use to make envelopes or whatever, ephemera for my cookbooks or use as pages. So, yeah, I'm excited about this one. This looks like it came from this book. I'm not sure. It looks like, almost looks like, it looks like almost part of the desk cover, but I don't think it is. But anyway, it was just stuck in here. Here's another. That's a pretty one with the dinner rolls. Yeah, cool. There's some little pictures once in a while in here, like right up here. Sandwich, red, what does it say? Red Hots. It's a hot dog stand. So this is what it looks like inside this one. There's mostly black and white pages with a picture, color picture now and then, and then some little pictures once in a while. Like the, there's a rolling pin here in the cookie section. Cute page there. So really cool. I like it a lot. I'm glad I got it. I love the cover on this. So yeah, this will be a journal one day. <laughs> so unless I decide to sell it in my shop. If I find, I usually look up the books um, before I take them apart and make sure they're not some kind of valuable book. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to take apart a valuable book. This is a little board book. And even though it doesn't have paper, you know, paper pages, it's board pages. I thought this cover was so cute and that I could take these board pages out and still make a little journal out of this. I could make a bigger spine. The back is cute too. It's got a little bunny on it. And let me see if it has a copyright in here. And actually all these separate little board pages could be used as covers, you know, back and front covers. So uh, let's see, where is the copyright on here? Maybe it's on the back. Uh, this got a little writing on the back I see too. But maybe that might be, since it's kind of like a very smooth, I might be able to actually get some of that off. 
uh, let you know. And I'll try a. I just thought I wonder if Mr. Clean um, Magic Eraser works on the on this pen. I might try that if it doesn't come off with just soap and water. You know, damp, very damp. I mean, not very damp, lightly damp sponge or something. Okay, so 1999. It looks like the copyright or 2001. Maybe it's the last one. I'm not sure. I think 2001. So not that old, but still not new really not brand new or anything but i just love this cover and then here's the inside of this one see this could be used as a cover that's so cute and then we've got some other pages you know like this could be a back the back the back cover really cute so oh, this would be a cute cover here it looks like a mama and a baby bunny and she's got a little mouse and a chick there with her isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah, this one was adorable. That's why I got this one. This could be a cover right here. This could be a cover. You know, and then use... Oh, this could be a cover. I like the bigger images for the cover, and then the other ones with the smaller images could be the back cover. So really cute. Aw. <laughs> Mama and baby bunny. <laughs> so cute. I love bunnies. Oh, here's another little one. Oh, so cute. So cute. Anyway, that's why I got that one. It's so cute. And I just thought, you know, I don't buy many board books to make journals out of, but that one was so cute. I just love bunnies. So, and here's another board book, too. I, um, when I saw this, it just, I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I just love this cover. I love the colors, this spot, pink spine. The back is pink. And this little bear is so cute with his hat and everything. I just so love this cover that I had to get it to make a future journal. It's just is so cute. And then this is a board book also. Let's see what uh, copyright this is. Uh, 1977. So 70s book here. And so let's see what we've got. So the same thing with this uh I could use the covers and make a journal, and then these board book pages, I could also possibly make some journals out of these. Uh, that would be a good cover right there, the bear. And then this one with the, with the forest. Oh, this would be a cute cover right here. So, I mean, I, they wouldn't all, all be covers. I'd have to make probably make some of them uh, bat, the back cover, but here's a cute page right here with all the animals gathering. Trying to get away from the glare there. <laughs> really cute. Here's one with a little deer in the picture. Really cute. Yes. Um, very cute. Look at this one. It has all the animals. That is so cute. A little porcupine, a frog. <laughs> Love it. I love it. Love it. Okay, so that's the third one for tonight. And then I showed you the cookbook. I've got two more, and then this video hopefully won't be too long. But uh, this is called Walt Disney's Fantasy Land. And I just like, I saw this one. It's a little bit big, like about the size, uh, maybe a little bigger than the glue books I just made. But I just love this cover. Um, I've never made a Disney journal, but. This cover, just this color, this green, and that is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and these little black, black pictures. And then it's got this in the middle and just thought, I don't know, this red and green, this red and green, and just the whole thing just caught my eye. Here's the back. And then it is Disney inside, but it's, uh, let's see, this, it said Golden Press on here too, so I didn't know. If it was made by little golden, you know, golden books or, or what? But that's a golden press, and it does look, you know, very vintage. This is already coming apart. I didn't, I didn't start taking it apart in or anything. This is how it was when I bought it. The cover was already coming off. Let's see if I see a copyright right off here. Yes, there's one down here. I can read upside down. 
let's see my hand is still a little swollen if you saw my last video I got stung by something or bit by something and I end up going to the doctor today because my wrist was starting to swell up and get red so my co-worker was I went to work this morning and she's like you need to go to the doctor <laughs> so I went to the doctor and the doctor didn't do anything but she did say that I should take antihistamine and like a ibuprofen for pain pain because it was hurting it's not hurting anymore but I took a, an elite I think it was a leave today and it's feeling better even though it's still swollen but uh I think it, it's feeling a lot better hopefully it's uh deflating <laughs> because it was quite swollen <laughs> yesterday and this morning okay copyright on here is uh really Wait a minute. Oh, it's on 1933, but that's not the latest date. It says 1933 right here, and then the latest date is 1961. 1961. So this is a this is an oldie. So let's just look at the pages real quick to see. I I flipped through this one really quick. I just saw the cover and I saw that it was Disney, and uh, I just love the cover, even if I didn't. I'll use the pages too, you know, I love Disney anyway too, but the vintage Disney is really cool also. So that's what this one looks like. Lots of color, colorful pages and Disney images. Really cute. All the Disney stories are in here, it looks like. Everyone, probably just about everyone. That was around by 1961 anyway. Oh, this is cute right here. What is this story? I wonder. It's really cute colors there. So, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all that color. Really neat. This is a neat book. I'm amazed at... Here's some bunnies. I'm amazed at the books I find at thrift stores. It's it's uh, it's crazy. Because I find so many cool books, you know? Okay, so that's that one. Really awesome. I love it. I'm glad I got it. Because it was... You know, like I said, I'd never done a Disney journal, so I didn't know if I wanted to get it. But then that cover just wouldn't, I just couldn't leave it behind. I just love that cover. So the last one I have to show you today is a uh, Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Pretty rough spine here. Uh, but the if I wanted to make a new spine, this actually, the front and back cover isn't too bad. This looks like it could be cleaned up. This I would get rid of and then clean up this. So yeah, I don't know why the spine is so much more worn than the rest of it, but let's see what the inside looks like. I have to compare this because some, I have to compare this to new a newer one because I don't think the newer ones have these yellow dividers. I think they're, I'd have to look. I have a newer one, so I'm going to do that. But these are cool, these yellow dividers, I think, because I don't think they made, like I said, I don't think they put those in the newer, in the newer versions of these. And then here's some pages. Oh, I stuck this in here because I wanted to see if I could use it in a journal. It's a 45 sleeve, 45 record sleeve RCA, and I like the red. So, yeah, I got that at the thrift store. <laughs> But, um, yeah, let me see what we got here as far as the yellow dividers and then nice pictures and, you know, how better homes and gardens, these are, you know how these are, I'm sure everybody, pretty much everybody has seen these, but I would be interested in comparing it to a newer one. I don't have one right here. I was like, I'll, I would grab it, but I... I uh, do have some to show you in another video because this one's going to be long enough after this. But um, then we'll compare and we'll see what color the dividers are and the difference uh, between 1961 and a newer version. So that's pretty. I, love, I always love the cookie pages. They're always so pretty. But here, oh, that's pretty. Look at the daisies behind this. It's cute. It's pretty. Here is a little card or a big card that someone typed a recipe on. 
soft dinner rolls. It's like card stocky, um, white or off white. Issued 670. It says S A G A down there on the bottom. I don't know if that came from something or what, but anyway, yeah, there's a recipe. Let's see if there's any. I don't think there's anything else hiding in here. But this is the 1961 version. It's really cool. I love the dividers, so the yellow dividers, that's neat. And here's an advertisement for, oh, look at, what is this? Okay, just advertising their cookbooks, the Better Homes and Garden cookbooks. But, uh, oh, I was going to look at the, the page numbers. I don't think these are red, the page numbers, and I was noticing that the older ones have red page numbers. I was going to compare that too to see if the newer ones have red page numbers. So that's two things I want to compare. And I think you can see that there. Right here is the page numbers. So yeah, two things I want to compare between these older, older ones and the newer ones. The page numbers, colors, and the uh, yellow. So they have yellow on this side, and then this one like has a picture on the back. So they're all, I think they're all like that yellow, and then picture on the back. So we will compare, and I'll show you another video, a newer one, to see, to see what they look like. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Just wanted to show you those few books that I picked up for future journals, and. I uh, just love looking at new books. I wanted to share those. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching tonight. Have a good night.